Over the past few months, I've been diving deep into basically every single rag strategy under the sun. And the two that I keep coming back to time and time again are agentic rag and knowledge graphs. And here, I've built a very powerful AI agent that combines both together. This agent will reason about where it goes to look for information based on what is gonna answer our question the best. It is so cool. So take a look at this. For my vector database, I'm using Postgres with the PG Vector extension using a super awesome serverless Postgres platform called Neon. So I have my document here chunked up. I have the embeddings created for it. This document basically just has a lot of information about big tech companies, their AI initiatives, and then also how they are partnered together. And then I take the same document and I also store it in a knowledge graph using Graffiti and Neo4j. So it's the same information, but stored in a very relational way. So our agent can query relationships between companies like Amazon is where Anthropic hosts their models, for example. And so now I can go back to my agent here and I can ask it the kind of question that would cause it to just search the vector database, asking about just a single company. Like what are the AI initiatives for Google? So take a look at this. It's going to search the vector database and then it's going to come back with an answer. Take a look at that. And then it even tells us here the tools that it used. So in this case, my agent is saying that it just searched the vector database. But then if I ask another question that has to do with a relationship between two companies, the agent will know based on my system prompt that it should go search the knowledge graph now instead. And so take a look at this. There we go. The tools used now it's using the graph search instead of the vector search. And then if I want to explicitly use both sources, I can either adjust my system prompt or like I'm doing right here, just call it out explicitly. I want you to go use the vector database and the graph and the agent will go ahead and do that. So it's going to both places to get a really solid answer for me. This is just an amazing AI agent. It's a free template that I have for you. So check out the link that I have right here to my full video where I show you how I built this agent, specifically using Claude code to aid in the development and also how you can get this agent up and running for yourself.